we are We are reaching for the stars But we're making this in an effort to save costs for game developers, Starfield has now joined a growing list of titles that will only arrive with digital codes and no physical disc. The topic has significantly changed as a result of a recent Starfield controversy. Some members of the gaming community feel as though they have been left in the dark as the gaming behemoth seems to be moving toward digital only releases. The announcement that Starfield's physical edition will only include a code for the chosen platform was made in a now deleted tweet from Bethesda's customer care account, hinting to the lack of physical disc. This generated a lot of discussion among fans and was met with criticism. The main issue, at least in the conventional sense, is the perception of a loss of ownership. For players, discs have long stood for a certain kind of anatomy, a relic of the game they own and can hold in their hands. Additionally, physical discs can be traded, sold, or lent by players, providing a sort of value unmatched by digital downloads. These liberties are lessened by the recent trend of digital-only releases, which presents players from buying used game discs at lower prices or storing particular titles for a later play. Numerous examples exist of online games that are no longer available for purchase after being taken down from online shops and subscription services. Since they were terminated, the only method to play them anymore is with a real disc, which has become scarce. Publishers of video games and owners of console platforms can both profit from digital distribution, especially financially. A digital game's standard income split is 70% going to the publisher and 30% going to the console platform. Owning Bethesda allows Microsoft to keep all of the game's digital sales. Digital sales have a large financial incentive compared to traditional sales, which include licensing fees, manufacturing costs, and retail shop closures. Not to mention that publishing games on physical disc is a lot of labor. Remedy Entertainment recently cited this as a reason for making Alan Wake 2 a digital-only title. Following the clarification from Bethesda, it has been made clear that only the regular version of Starfield will include a disc. The Premium and Constellation Editions will not. For instance, the Constellation Edition will have a code inscribed on a collectible. Critics have noted the incongruity of a steelbook display case typically used for physical disc housing nothing but a digital download code and this mismatch across the many Starfield versions has done little to help concerns. The trend towards digital release has been growing rapidly in recent years. This change, however, might have a double-edged effort because it runs the danger of alienating some players. The gaming industry has assured us that digital games give users a unique type of ownership a purchase connected to a user account, saved on a secure servers, and available at any time. But in the modern world, even that might go at some point. If discs are still around, gaming will continue. Drop your comments. Until the next one, boss out. We are, we are dreaming in the dark. We are nothing more than dust. Search for you, stay lost We are, we are reaching for the stars But we're